Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 chipset inside of it with 8 gigabytes of RAM on the base model and it does go up to 12 gigabytes of RAM with the Google Pixel 6 Pro on the other hand has that new Google Tensor chipset inside of it with 12 gigabytes of RAM on all of the models of the phone. So let's go and see which one is a faster phone between both of these. Okay, there we go. Hopefully you guys can see them. The Google Pixel 6 Pro is here. The S22 Ultra is here. All the apps are cleared out in the background right now. So let me go and clear them out. So there we go. Let's get into their phone calls. Three, two, one. I was surprised to say the S22 Ultra is faster there. Messages, three, two, one. Kind of the S22 Ultra was a little bit faster there in my opinion. Cameras, three, two, one. And kind of the same thing. Not really that big of a difference. Let's just go and take a photo. Pretty much the same thing. Let's just go straight into here. And it did look like the S22 Ultra was a little bit slower there, but pretty much the same thing. Let's go and get into Play Stores. Three, two, one. Really fast on both. I think the S22 Ultra was a little bit faster there. Scrolling through, let's see if there's a difference. And I think the Pixel 6 Pro kind of glitched up there a little bit. They kind of gave me the same thing. There's really not... I think the S22 Ultras, actually they're both kind of the same thing to be honest. Let's go and hop out of there. We do have a bunch of these Google applications we could probably go and open. We can open up Google Photos, 3, 2, 1. I would probably say the Pixel 6 Pro is a faster one, although I don't know if I've opened it up here. So that's a little bit of a difference. We have some of these third-party applications we can test. Snapchat, 3, 2, 1. I think the Pixel 6 Pro is faster. We can go into TikTok, 3, 2, 1. Probably the Pixel 6 Pro was a little bit faster there too, you know, to get into all these other panels. Hopping out of there, let's go into Fruit Ninja, three, two. I guess I don't have that, oh, right here, three, two, one. Now this is not like a crazy intensive game by any means, but you know, it's still going to be interesting which one is the faster one. And almost identically the same, you know, they both kind of got into the next panel at the same time, which pretty interesting. Let's go and hop out of this one. Let's go and get into some of these third party applications again. Let's get into Dune, three, two, one. Oh, dude, almost exactly the same thing. And I'm sure the graphics are going to be roughly around the same thing too. It's going to Temple Run 2, 3, 2, 1. Okay, so we have downloading content, loading. Pretty much they both crashed at the same exact time. That is so funny. So this game has just been crashing on all these other phones. I don't understand why that keeps happening. Snake vs. Blocks, 3, 2, 1. So that's kind of an L on both, so I guess it really doesn't matter. It's funny they both crashed at almost exactly the same time. Snake vs. Blocks open up perfectly fine as well. Gameplay is probably going to be about the same. Hopping out of there. Let's go and get into Stack. 3, 2, 1. I will also add that I've played really heavy intensive games and that game was very annoying. I also want to add that I have played a bunch of heavy intensive games on both of these as well. And I got kind of around the same experience. Let's go and get into Thank You. So I will say if you're trying to play super intensive games, I didn't really notice that big of a difference. The Pixel 6 Pro was a little bit faster there. Getting out of this one. Let's go and get into Bofa. 3, 2, 1. And I would probably say that S22 Ultra was much faster there. Getting into the next one, let's go and get into... To be honest, that kind of covers up a majority of the apps I did want to test. I will tell you, I really don't think one is faster than the other one. They are almost identically the same. I just couldn't really find that big of a difference. Really, the main difference you're going to see is that for the base models, you are getting more RAM. It looks like this one kind of refresh here, but you're getting more RAM on the Pixel 6 Pro than on the S22 Ultra for the base models. But you can spec them out to be about the same. That's a big thing to keep in mind, so... I will probably do a full speed cut.